What's up, you nerds? I'm freaking Spider-Man, and today I'm talking about Marvel games. You wanna know why? Because my movie, Avengers Endgame, is smashing the box office records, just like you should be smashing that subscribe button on this channel. And I'm ready to play some Marvel games after seeing Avengers. What games do I play? I heard the NES version of X-Men is awesome. Nah, I heard that game freaking sucks, but there are some amazing Marvel games, and we're gonna go over them in today's video. We're going over the best Marvel games of all time, so stick around, trolls, and take a look. First game up is Marvel's Ultimate Alliance in 2006, a game that I, of course, was in, and that's why I made the list. And it's a pretty fun little mashup, a top-down, kind of button-smashing, controller-breaking game. Not because you're raging, because all you do is push the same button over and over, but there were some pretty good RPG elements. I liked it better than the sequel, Ultimate Alliance 2, mainly because it just had a little bit better RPG. They actually had a main villain. It had a little bit of a story behind it to make it more engaging. There wasn't quite the huge roster, but it was a fun game. And I remember playing with my buddies back when I was a little spiderling, back in 05, 06, and it was a blast. So, Marvel Ultimate Alliance, one of the best Marvel games of all time. Back in the heyday of 1994, when the X-Man and the Spider-Man himself had the animated series on Fox, they released a game called X-Men Mutant Apocalypse. It had huge sprites, ridiculously hard gameplay, and really cool special moves. You had to pick out one of your favorite mutants, you had to go through five different levels, you could pick whichever order you wanted to go in, which was awesome, which was freaking rad, and there was no save system. Yeah, you had to beat the first five levels in order to save the game and get a password. So you know what I did? I just got the password from somebody else. Game was stinking hard. Pretty sure I've never beaten it, but I love it. When I think of my childhood, I think of X-Men Mutant Apocalypse for the Super Nintendo in the mid-90s, along with those Fox cartoons on Saturday mornings. So if you haven't played an X-Men game, Mutant Apocalypse, check it out. It's pretty fun. Give my homie Wolverine a high five. Back in 2000, I made an appearance on the arcade in Marvel vs. Capcom 2, and let me tell you folks, it's not only one of the best Marvel games of all time, it's one of the greatest fighting games of all time. You had to see your boy Spider-Man winging and flinging and kicking, nothing could stop old Spider-Man back in the day. The combos were sick, the gameplay was amazing, the sprites were huge, and it even holds up today. Don't even get me started on Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. That game was full of spider crap. Nobody likes that game. It sucks. They took everything you liked about Marvel vs. Capcom 2 and removed it and left the donkey crap. That's what they did with Infinite. Don't even get me started. Minus the graphics, it is absolute trash. Anyway, Marvel vs. Capcom 2 though. You wanna play a game that still holds up? Go check it out. Next up is LEGO Marvel Super Heroes, a game that my little buddy and I spent tons of time playing. My little spiderling and I spent so much time going to the open world of LEGO Marvel Super Heroes. One, not two. Two, eh, mediocre at best. But one, that's where it's at. Huge roster, tons of unlockables. The game itself was gorgeous at the time, and it was fun. I mean, what hasn't LEGO done? LEGO's infiltrated everything. I think they're part of the freaking mafia. I mean, they are everywhere. But Spider-Man was the bomb in that game. Flinging around, showing them what's up. Lego Marvel freaking superheroes. If you haven't played it, you're missing out, so make sure to get on it. Oh, sorry, I didn't see you guys there. Next games up are actually two peas in a pod, and they star yours truly, and that's Spider-Man for the PS4. It was released last year, it was a game of the year contender, and it was freaking awesome. And you know what, I know what? It's because I was in it. That's the reason it was good. Yeah, they talk about the gameplay being amazing. The story being pretty awesome. Getting a chance to play as the old Peter Parker himself. But, the outfits are what did it. The classic, the new, the retro. Spider-Man on the PS4 was incredible. And it's one of the best Marvel games for a reason. The visuals were great. Everything was amazing. The, the web slinging felt just like it was really going out there and doing it through my old hometown in New York. But you know what else? It got its ideas from Spider-Man 2, released in the early 2000s. Another amazing Marvel comic book game, and probably the second best Spider-Man game ever made. 
but they're both fantastic Marvel games. Spider-Man 2 really made the web slinging feel great. The open world, it was like Grand Theft Auto for Marvel fans. Yeah, I couldn't go rob cars. But, I mean, it was still a fun open world game. Yeah, you had to deliver some pizzas, you had to go get the purse snatchers. But, you know, besides that, it was really fun. The fighting was fantastic. The missions were pretty fun, minus a few repetitive ones. Spider-Man 2, based on the movie, was really the best Spider-Man game until the PS4 version came out. So those two are in at the best of all time. I can't leave up that big green roided out monster, the Hulk. I mean, how many movies has he been in by himself that are good? Zero. How many games? One. Back in 2002, I believe, for the GameCube PS2 Xbox, there was the Incredible Hulk Ultimate Destruction. And that game encapsulated everything you liked about Hulk. You have a tree, you smash. A car, you smash. A bovine, you smash. You grab helicopters out of the air, and you smash them. But there was actually some fun gameplay elements. The boss fights were actually a little challenging. Kind of reminded me a little bit of that God of War Kratos fella. Yeah, maybe not quite the same, but they were tough. There were some fun boss fights. A little bit of repetitiveness in the actual, you know, elements in the city and the missions. But it was still a lot of fun to go around and actually have a game where you felt like you were the Hulk. Okay? Until Avengers came around, the Hulk was pretty much a forgotten hero. Everybody wanted something fun. Well, this was the game back in the early 2000s to play as that big, dumb, green, roided out freaking monster. All right, nerds and trolls, what do you think of the best Marvel games of all time? I missed a few. I know some of you guys might like Deadpool or Wolverine Origins game, but you know what? They didn't make the list. Old Spider-Man here made the list, and I get to say what goes. So with that being said, let me know what your favorite Marvel game is in the comments below. Chris will be back again in a week. With that being said, what does he say? Keep Flowing and going? What? Oh, Tro keep trolling and keep rolling. See you next week.